So today I'm going to talk about front-loaded exercises. Now, a front-loaded exercise is anything where the bar or the resistance is in front of your body. So think of a regular barbell squat, the bar is on your back. And think of a front squat, the bar is in front of you. Now, what is the difference between these two exercises? The front squat, you have more muscle on your upper back, and the bar is not trying to actively throw you forward. Whereas with a front squat, the bar is more in front of you, so the center of gravity of the mass you're trying to move is more in front of you, and the bar is trying to fall forward unless your body allows it not to do that. So you have to adjust your body and put tension in different areas to not allow that to happen. Now what happens during front-loaded exercises? You are trying to be dumped forward, so there's more stress on the upper back, and because you have to maintain a more rigid posture, there's more stress on the core, specifically the abdominal muscles. Then, anything front-loaded, specifically in the squat, will hit the quadricep muscles more than the glutes, hamstrings, low back, the posterior chain, basically. So if that's something you need to bring up, consider having a front-loaded variation as opposed to a typical back-loaded variation. If you're doing split squats or step-ups with a barbell, try doing that with a front-loaded, maybe zercher or front rack position, or even carry a heavy medicine ball. That will hit your quads and your core and your upper back a bit more. Front-loaded variations are great for bringing up deadlift strength. I've never really understood why so many people have said that the front squat is a great assistance exercise until I got a little bit older and more mature to understand how the anatomy works and why it's similar to a deadlift. So if you have a strong front squat, you're most likely going to have a pretty strong deadlift as well. So some front-loaded variations. You have the front squat, obviously, I've been talking about it a lot. Then you have the zercher squat. You can do these to a box, you can do these paws, you can do these off pins. These are going to be your main front squat variations or your front-loaded squat variations. Then what I like to do more for assistance work is to get a heavy sandbag and squat with it. Even I have something called a power pole, which allows you to put the weight in front of you for any type of variation. Then when we have our single leg variations, a lot of people do split squats with a barbell on their back, dumbbells at the side. Well, you can try doing these same variations, such as split squats, lunges, step ups, anything like that, but put the bar in a zercher position. Put the bar in front of you. Hold a sandbag. This will hit the quads, the core, the upper back more. So if that area is weak, try putting any of the variations I named in this video in and watch those weaknesses disappear.